My name is James Garacy. I'm a healthcare scientific practitioner and I currently work in the Royal Berkshire Hospital. So sort of day to day role would be making sure x-rays perform how they should be, testing outputs, testing image quality, and making sure that the staff and patients aren't getting more radiation than is expected. Um, also looking at non-ionising such as lights, lasers, ultrasound. When I was um, 16, left school, um, knew everything, full of the world, I wanted to be a sound engineer. So I went to college and did um, music technology, BTEC. Loved it, Every two years, loved it, everything. But I thought, just give myself some more credence and give myself a better chance again to uni or getting a job, I'll do some A-levels on top. So I chose to do um, maths, physics, psychology and computing. In our physics class, there was a leaflet that was passed around which with the headline, fancy getting a degree for free. I didn't think it was fair on my father or my family or myself to have to pay for university. That way, so I saw this and I thought I'd take it. Um, it was at the local hospital and I went for the interview and lo and behold, I got, I got the job. So it was a, it was a job offered in um, medical physics and, and uh, it was for a clinical technologist. It was a four-year degree uh, with agreed funding. So it was basically like a modern apprenticeship. So I got my university paid for, I got, I got a small wage on top of that and that's, that's basically how I got into it, sort of fell, in, fell into it by, by mistake. It was, it was challenging, though I can't deny that. Um, the hospital I was working with, the department, are very um, helpful because they obviously see that it's beneficial for me to pass, me to qualify, it was worth their time and so they gave me all the help I needed. You didn't even realise how much work you put in until you look back on your portfolio at the end and realise, wow, I did all that. And, and it, it amount from going from zero knowledge to where I am today, it was, it was a rapid, rapid and fun experience. I enjoyed school as much as people enjoy school. Obviously, the social side of school was brilliant. So I was a bit of a difficult student. Um, so in fact, the last two years, and the most important years, I hardly ever did science. I wasn't allowed, I was too too uh, destructive to the other students. Still studied, still did it on my own. Um, got to come to the GCSEs. Got the, got the mark, got fairly good marks. Um, which I was quite pleased about. I was surprised, so it's, it's, quite, it's quite funny how I now fall into a job role, uh, a science job role. I found this role and the learning experience, it's, it's stretched me and it's stretched me and it's, but it's not stretching me so the other end stays put, it stretches me so the other end then catches up and it's a constant sort of, there's a movement there and it snowballs and snowballs and I want to know more, I want to know more, I want to grab and grab, I want to learn more and develop my skills. In terms of a career, you start, you start, not quite, you don't start at the bottom, you start halfway up and then you've got, you've got no reason why you can't go all the way up to the top earning sort of the big sort of consultant money. Um, my dad's a chartered accountant and they've always sort of installed sort of this to go for these sort of professional job roles like lawyer, doctor, solicitor, but without pushing, but they've sort of, sort of shown me that that's, if you want to earn money, you want a nice house, you want the car, you want all the things to go with it, you're going to have to go for this, this sort of role. And so as soon as I showed him this, I'm going to apply for this, he was more than happy. He said, yeah, that'd be, that'd be good for you. And obviously there's the benefits of working for sort of government NHS. Where you, get good, you get a good time off, you get 27 days to start with, plus the bank holidays. So he was, he was quite happy for me to, 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 go, to go through that way. Currently uh, participate and compete in sort of bodybuilding events. Um, so back in 2009, I went to uh, the NAC Mr Universe uh, for sort of representing Great Britain there. Since moving to Reading and working at Royal Barks, uh, yeah, life's been life's been good. I can't complain. It's they're pushing me to go f to go further and to get my state registration. There's everything's all going. It's all I've got future plans. It's, it's all life's pretty good. I can't I can't complain.